Hey everybody, it's Rascal. Thanks for joining me here in the Basin Arcade. Today, we're going to review the Magshian Racing Seat Bar Stool. Now, this review has been about a year in the making. Why? Because I wanted to make sure that this product stood the test of time before I did a review. So it was about January of last year. I learned I was going to be working from home and wanted something, you know, a little comfortable to sit at my desk as well as in front of my arcade machines. So... On a whim, I found this really cool looking uh, bar stool right here on Amazon. It's about $120 for a set of two, and it had some decent reviews. So I figured I would go ahead and give it a try. So place that order, got it, and well, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. All right, here's some stock pictures. So, as you can see there, you know, there's a good view of it, side and front. You've even got a footstool on there, um, a footrest. And you've got a wide spot, you know, big, big, big wide base. Um, so far after a year, I have no wobble in these things, by the way. So let's take a look at the rest of this thing. Dimensions, you've got 22 to 30 inches uh, of play in, in the uh, raising and lowering of the seat. It's got a 3-inch cushion, well, 3-inch seat. And then a 16-inch back on it, which is really comfortable. It's not, let's say, your you know $300 racing chair or your $500 secret lab, but for you know which, what I'm using it for, it works great. It's 16 inches wide um, and fits me quite nice. And to describe me, I'm a little over 200 pounds. When I actually started using these, I was about 220, 225 had no problem with the gas shocks on this. Still don't after one year. So you're about uh, 16 inches wide, as I said, about 15 and a half inches deep. Uh, I'm 5'7", and I can comfortably sit on this with my knees, you know, just a little bit further than the chair and my feet resting on that footrest. Take a look at the stitching here. Nice piping around the edges there in white. And then uh, the stitching on the black and white or sorry, black and red leatherette. Same thing on the seat portion. All right, let's go ahead and see what it took to put this together. So came in single box, not that many parts. I've got them laid out here so you can see you got two bases, two of the gas shocks, two of the uh, seat mounts, two seats, and you know two tool kits. Pretty simple uh, situation there. So easy assembly. I went ahead and just put one of the uh, seats upside down on a nearby flat surface. I used the tools to go ahead and attach it. Actually, you can see there I've got my own little uh, power screwdriver that I went ahead and uh, you know got that attached. But I still used the Allen wrench to finish the tightening on that. You always want to make sure it is nice and snug. So just a couple of bolts to get that in there. Place the gas shock inside the base. Easy peasy. If you've ever assembled a desk or a desk chair, you you know half of this. And then rest it on top. The one thing I like about this is you see that foot rest. It is part of the top half. So when the see, uh, the bar stool goes up or down, that raises with it. <clears throat> so as long as that's comfortable position for your feet to rest, it doesn't matter if you have the chair all the way down, all the way up, or anywhere in between. It doesn't change. So let's see how this looks in the work environment here. There's my streaming desk, and as you can see, fits comfortably in there. Uh, I do have to raise my uh, desk just a little bit from my lowest setting, but again, I've got a power desk, not an issue. Uh, this also works well at other desks I have in the house. In front of a pinball machine, you're playing a lot of pinball. Great to have a backrest. Um, you can still see the pinball table well. And you're not going to sit there and be hunched over and basically hurt your back. Uh, <laughs> you're my age. That's actually a thing. And then here it is uh, in front of an arcade cabinet. Again, the fact that you could raise or lower this makes it work in all sorts of situations, whether it's working at a desk, uh, putting it at a bar, um, putting it you know, at, a, at a countertop there, maybe an, an island in the kitchen works great. Or, you know, like I said, playing pinball or playing arcade games. So final thoughts. 
Well, like I said, I've had this bad boy for over a year. And it comes in a set of two. I'm actually sitting on one right now, as a matter of fact. So here, let me show you. See, I, I'm using one right now. So $120, set of two. After a year of use, I've got no wobble. I've seen no wear and tear on these uh, through normal use. I use each of them daily. Uh, one sits by my desk. One sits in the arcade where I do my, uh, a lot of my testing. So uh, you can see everything is held up well on here. Nothing is worn. No holes. The back is still nice and steady. Um, I can't say enough. Like I said, in terms of supporting weight, well, when I started out, I was 225. Uh, I'm, you know, 215, maybe less by now. And I'm five foot seven. Fits me great. Uh, it does go higher, goes lower, and it looks pretty cool. Now, if you don't like this color set, they do make one that's kind of black and whitish, and then one that is grayish in tones. Uh, all three are available right now on Amazon. I will go ahead and put a link uh, in the show description so you can go ahead and find it. Now, mind you, that is also an Amazon affiliate link. You will pay no extra. Uh, however, it will support the channel if you purchase through that link. Uh, so that's all i got to say about it. If you're looking for a stylish bar stool with a back to use in your arcade or other purposes, even, even at a bar, I would definitely check this out. It's not that expensive. You get a, two of them for you know, 120 to 130 depending on the color you choose. And they have held up very, very well. So I, I'm glad that I waited uh, a whole year to put this out because I wanted to make sure I, I didn't sit there and review something that I've used for a week or two. And then all of a sudden you go and buy it and, you know, six months later, boom, breaks. So you get two thumbs up on this from me. It is highly recommended. Um, so there you go. Now, if you like this kind of video, or this kind of content, you know, Give me a thumbs up. That'd be great on the way out if you like the video. If you like this, this content so much you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell for the notifications. And next time I put a video up, it might pertain to your interests, and you'll get notified. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And you guys just have a blessed day. I will see you later.